welcome back to Redirecting. We have another very sad, unfortunate story coming out of Africa, where there's now a McDonald's who is turning away black customers. They are turning these black customers away. And as you see from the notice on the screen here, it says, we've been informed that from now on, black people are not allowed to enter the restaurant for the sake of your health. Consciously notify the local police for medical isolation. Please understand the inconvenience caused. Okay, now that is a notice that was um, apparently posted on businesses in a region of China where Africans are living. Now the article goes on to say that after a massive crackdown of Africans in Gongzhou saw people evicted from their apartments and hotel rooms, even after they have tested negative for COVID-19 or completed a 14-day isolation period, many continue to be caught in a state of limbo, wandering the streets with their personal belongings, sleeping rough at, right, at night, and waiting to hear from the consulates hmm, of their respective countries. Interesting. Hmm. Apart from having to experience the humiliation of getting unceremoniously thrown out of accommodations that they have paid for, they have also had to suffer the indignity of getting turned away from restaurants, convenience stores, and other retail shops. <sighs> Sometimes it's really difficult, family, to read these stories and to not imagine or picture what people are going through in these situations. It's sometimes hard, you know, to just pull your mind away from that because I'm thinking about this unfair treatment that our people are receiving um, worldwide and it's as if everyone thinks it's okay, but when it goes another way, when it goes in the other direction, then everyone grows a conscious, if you know what I mean. Everyone grows a conscious when it comes to other groups, but... Not so much when it comes to dark indigenous people on this planet. Now, I'm not whining and complaining about it. I know that it is what it is and that there are certain reasons why certain things are done or happening. Okay. But it doesn't make me feel good nonetheless to see or hear that these things are happening. I understand what must take place in order to put a stop to these types of things. And it's the one thing that no one wants to hear. As a matter of fact, um, I've had people say to me several times on my channel and also on our ministry channel that we talk too much about repentance. Because with repentance, there are some things that the Most High is going to do for his people. And of course, I know some of you don't believe, you're non-believers, you're atheists, and you're like, okay, whatever. Um, just tell me what you think is the solution. We haven't been able to do anything in hundreds and or even thousands of years to bring ourselves to a better place collectively. I'm not talking about ones and twos or a, a handful compared to the population. I'm not talking about a hundred or 200 or a thousand wealthy or well-to-do black people. I'm talking about a, a nation of independent well-to-do black people. We haven't seen that in quite some time. And you've got to understand that there is a divine reason for it. And so those of you who just don't believe what I'm saying, uh, tell me what you think in the comment section, what brought us here and what's going to get us out. I'm always curious to know because usually um, I'll hear some lame <laughs> things that uh, people are conjuring up, but I just want to see if there's anything realistic for those of you who are not believers, who don't understand that this is divine intervention as to the reasons why these things happen to our people worldwide. Okay. But um, anyway, um, the article, if I remember, I will leave a link in the comment section uh, for those of you who wish to read more, but um, it's just really sad um, to see that these things are happening. And one part of the article says one man who thought he might be able to buy himself a meal at McDonald's had to leave hungry because an employee at the plaza told him, no, he just handed him the notice. 
and he had to turn around in humiliation. You see, um, tell me what you think about this story in the comment section. There were some previous uh, questions that I had asked about those of you who um, have any ideas of the solutions for our people on a large scale, not on a small scale. Um, if you have any comments about this particular story, please leave them in the comment section. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, um, like, and share. With that, I will say I am out. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel, and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.